YouTube 1138 back with a tutorial for padbangers.com in which I will show you step by step how to set up your Cork Volca beats with Ableton's drum rack. I will also show you a part 2 on how to set it up with M Audio's Trigger Finger Pro for Dollars jamming. For reference you can also download the MIDI implementation chart from Cork under cork.com manuals for any Volcas, which looks like this. The difference from the Volca Beats to all other Volcas is uh, that it communicates through the same MIDI channel, which is channel 10. Volca Sample, for instance, communicates from channel 1 up to 10 for each sound, and all other Volcas use channel 1. But that's just a side fact. Um, start your Ableton Live and create an uh, instrument rack, which is drag and drop into the first MIDI channel. And just drag and drop and drum rack into it, expand the view, create a chain, use that as a default, uh, go back to instruments and use this one, external instruments and drag and drop it to the chain. Uh, choose your MIDI interface or the port um, that is hooked up to your Volca Beats, which is in my case MIDI Tech MIDI Face 2x2 port 2 and we use channel 10. This is now my default setup. We just copy and paste it nine more times. Control D on their Windows computers. It now goes to the little longer part of this whole case um, by programming the, the, the receive keys, which are the pads right here and the play notes that are actually going to your Volca. So I just start with the receive in one shot, which is C1 as the first one, C sharp one for the second. And as you can see, it starts to automatically uh, programming these. So D1, D sharp one, E1, F1, F sharp one, G1, G sharp one, uh, where is it there? And A1. So now you got the 10 available um, s sounds pretty much on your Volca or the pets assigned to them. So now we uh, have to choose the destination, which will be in this case C1. And unfortunately, you don't have a drop down list, so you have to kind of click through it. So, first one will be C1. That's your kick, as you can hear. So, the next one goes to D1 G1 D2 F sharp 1 A sharp one, D sharp one, D sharp four, G three. Last but not least, C sharp two. I hope it was mistaken. Let's test them. It's going to be kick and snare and so on. All right, and. 
that's basically it. So to record it, um, I would recommend to just use the, from the first pad the audio input. Um, just because um, if you would do it for every single um, sound, um, you can't really mute them. They will still play through all the, the open channels. So that's why, it, you know, to kind of reduce the confusions and uh, uh, 10 layers of the same sound or same input, I would just go from audio one. I mean, if you have a modified Volca beats with um, single outputs pretty much for every instrument, then of course that works. Uh, then you can uh, go from this way, but usually the unmodified Volcas only have one audio output. Um, so now that's basically it. You can uh, close all the views and rename your instrument rack. Oops, there we go. Is it somehow missing? Oh, there you go. Save. Save instrument rack as Cork Volga Beats. Since I already have saved one, my setup, I just save it under Beats 1 to not get confused. And you just drag and drop it into your external instruments. If you, I mean, you should have like under places a folder called external instruments. As you can see, I already have all my other stuff or other Volkas and, 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 and the micro cork in there. Um, and that's it. That's um, all you have to do. So now you can create a clip. A snare, some closed heads. Open heads. Oops. And hit play, and that's it. Now you can create your own beats in Ableton with more than just 16 steps, which is pretty limited to the Volkas, and give your tracks a lot more varieties. I hope this helps. Check out petbangers.com for more tutorials and reviews. Take care.